ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. You know there's certain songs ladies and gents. We're gonna talk to y'all for a second. Have my music playing in my background. As always, we's got to talk, y'all. Now, as you can see, I'm on my phablet. There's been something interesting, which hasn't happened for about maybe since 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I ended up having, um, it's called an impacted tooth, where one tooth is pushing against the other. It's not a wisdom tooth. Because I ain't got no wisdom. Um, but it was just an impacted tooth. I've had it before. I knew it wasn't an infection. But I still did the natural remedy. And the natural remedy for any toothache is peppermint oil and clove. Now, I have peppermint oil and clove. I keep that. But I also have some other essential oils that I add to the combination. But peppermint oil and clove, antibiotic, and a numbing. Now, it takes about an hour to four hours to work, and it worked, no problem. That wasn't the problem. I don't take pain relievers. And because I don't take pain relievers, it takes a lot of energy to tune out the pain. I missed my sixth corporate meeting from the time we started. Now, without the exception of my being on vacation, this is going all the way back to 2011. Now, y'all y'all really need to understand how significant that is because it just doesn't happen. But all day yesterday, I decided to lay up. And today, I decided to stay in bed. See, the problem is I ain't tired, tired, because I've been getting some rest. But last night, I got no rest whatsoever. Not because of the pain. No, 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 no. Just feeling ill at ease. Now, I tell people, hey, I don't want your advice. I don't need it. I don't need your medical suggestions. And you know what? Some of you are just ignorant enough to do it anyway. So... I have already blocked at least six people in the last four weeks. Just block their emails because I ain't got time for that. Especially those of you who are going to tell it to me anyway, even though you know I said don't do it. Ooh wee That lets me know that you guys are the most honorable people on the planet. Somebody tell you not to do something respecting them and you do it anyway, that means you have no respect for that person. I don't give a what your intentions are. The actual basis of it shows you have no respect. So I'm just blocking people left and right. Okay? Like I said, I don't believe in faith healing. That's not that's not what this is. But I do have a father. It's pretty powerful. And he's rich. And you know what? He takes care of me. And I'm going to rely on that. Now, if it was something serious, 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 yeah, you better believe I'd be seeking some medical advice but not from any of you i don't know you mother okay y'all you really need to understand i don't know none of you mother man you could be for all i know sitting up here telling me something that i'd sit up here and do and then you put a youtube video i'm talking about hey <laughs> look at what i did to this mother you know so if anyway Wusa. ladies and gentlemen I've been looking over some emails uh, since we started the new programs and the letters have been going out to the different corporations. I've been getting ready and over the next week and a half, I'll be putting together the lawsuit. And the reason why we's going to put together this lawsuit is because this ain't going to be like the first one. No, no, this ain't going to be like the first one where I sat up there and allowed them to play games. I ain't got time for that, Bolt. Okay? 
there is another angle where we're headed. Okay? Just need y'all to understand that. Now, that's the first thing. Ladies and gentlemen, for the most part, everybody's all over the place. One person is over here trying this, another person is over here trying that, and another person's over here trying that. And then they're trying to invent new ways of doing things. That's where everybody's going wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the system hasn't changed. The system has been the same since 1933. The system has been the same since 1933. March 9, 2023 is 90 years. March 9, 2023 is 90 years. It hasn't changed, people. So why are you inventing new stuff? That's not the agreement. People are trying to get technical Bless your little hearts that you're trying to get technical with them when they have already thought out all the technicalities. They've had 90 years to anticipate your stupidity, and you can't see that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to tell you is let's go back to the new organization, AMCF. AMCF is a trust organization. That's what it's titled and everything. There's a reason for that. We our clients have a trust relationship with us and it's under that trust relationship that they've established their interests. And what's happening is that there are several instruments that need to be in motion and that's what we're doing. But there's been a back and forth. There's been confusion. People, why do I feel this out? How do I do this? But you said do that. No, I didn't. And I'm not doing anything but watching the staff response. And ladies and gentlemen, where the staff has the patience to deal with people, I don't. But their response to people has been cordial, respectful, and I'm appreciative of that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to say I don't get taken off my feet very often to where two days straight, I literally haven't been wanting to do anything. And it's not that I'm tired or I feel sick. I just don't feel like doing anything. I feel like laying here and just relaxing. Now, just in case, I don't think there's anything because, you know, I, like I said, I don't feel sick or anything. It's been since yesterday, which was, uh, whoa, what's today? That would have been Monday. It's been since yesterday that I woke up with the impacted tooth. And other than the impacted tooth, uh, I was still feeling lethargic, but the impacted tooth was the reason for that later in the afternoon. I tried to get some sleep and it just didn't work. So I went to sleep at about seven o'clock, woke up at one. Well, technically I tried to go to sleep at four o'clock and today I went to sleep at 12 o'clock. <laughs> Stayed asleep for about an hour because it's 3.03 right now. Stayed asleep for about an hour and then the phone rang. And I've been up ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, nothing is wrong. It's just, it doesn't happen that often that I just don't feel like it. No depression or anything. I'm actually feeling pretty good that I delegated responsibility to certain other members of the organization. So, yay! Yay! And so that's taken a lot of weight and a lot of pressure off of me that I can start focusing on the things that are more important. That's very hard to do, to delegate responsibility, to relinquish power. It's not something that we as humans do readily. We should, but it is not something that we do readily. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to take the time to say if you don't hear from me, and if I don't make it with you, I'm going to get there somehow. When I see them little white boys and little black girls and little black girls and little white boys walking down the aisle and holding hands and singing Kumbaya, my Lord, you know, when I see all of that, I'll be there with y'all. Okay, because I done been to the bottom of the valley and I done been to the top of the peak and I just don't know what day it is or what is the middle of a week. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I just swear I don't understand. Um, y'all take care of yourselves. 
I just wanted to tell y'all everything seems to be going really, 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 really well with the new organization. And as of Thursday of this week, we will start helping those who have mortgages and who are going through foreclosure. If you are going to be part of that program, you will have to pay attention. You will have to pay attention and follow instructions. Do not sit up here and contact us about, and I really need to, I need to do something right now because if I don't, 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 we don't want to hear the whining. Okay, you've had all this time to seek help. And even if you didn't know who eyes be, if you've done the best you could up to this point, then stop whining. Do what you're supposed to do. Document the record the way it's supposed to be documented. And we're going to give you an understanding of the way the law reads. I'll give you one understanding right now, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why foreclosure works, pay attention. You guys really need to understand the reason why foreclosure works is because you all have not tendered payment. I've already shown you the videos where tender a payment cancels a foreclosure. You have to tender payment in full. Well, payment was tendered in full on the day of the closing. So if they're claiming they didn't get paid, they need to show proof they didn't get paid. An assigned affidavit, I'll accept. Okay? I'll sign a uh, signed affidavit, I'll accept saying they didn't get paid. Because now we can investigate. So be prepared, ladies and gentlemen, because that's where we're headed. They want to claim that they didn't receive payment and you still owe money? Well, then that means that you're violating the statute. That means that you're going contrary to the law. That means that you and the court are operating in a conspiracy. Because we put the information on the record, people. We say, wait a minute, what are y'all doing? Okay. We will educate you. We will tell you what to do. This process, y'all knock yourselves out trying to figure out what we're doing. We don't have time. Too many people out there struggling. Those of you who, uh, there was a person who contacted us because they wanted to start their own arbitration association and they read the video where we said we would help people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing I told the person is go and learn about arbitration first. Go and study it and then come to us because all the people who tried to start it before didn't listen to the video, didn't listen to the information. And because they didn't listen, they didn't know what to do when the popos came. Okay. Look, our arbitration association. Hold on one second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am, um, oh, that was UPS. They were dropping off a package. It goes to the solar panels. Santan, San, S-A-N-T-A-N, Santan, uh, solar, Santan.com. I told you guys how there was a mix up in the order, some wiring that was, um, sent but it wasn't the one I needed and that there was a communication issue and I told you guys how they said hey no problem we will send you the right thing just send us back the ones we sent you ladies gentlemen they sent me originally two items I was asking for four and the items I was asking for are longer uh, they are one to four as opposed to one to two and they sent me four as opposed to two. They're $15 each. Ladies and gentlemen, no questions, no payment, no, you going to pay us for this, none of that. So now I got to send them back the two that they have. Uh, we've had a lot of rain, so I didn't know if the truck would be here because, you know, they don't come on wet roads. But... He traveled on this road today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Y'all take care, and I'm going to be at last right now, okay? Got to go.